Hey guys, in my last video I spoke to you about my 2021 wish list items so far for the year and there's probably about 20 or 30 items there but I only picked up maybe half of those. Today I want to talk to you about all the beauty products that I've purchased so far in 2021 which there's about 49 products. Only 15 of them are my wish list items so if you're interested to know what I picked up, whether or not I thought it was any good or not, stay tuned. G'day guys, welcome to UNI Beauty. My name is Tanya and I'm your personal little guinea pig. And as I said just before, we're going to talk about all the products that I've purchased so far in 2021, beauty related sort of products. I'm not going to talk to you about toothpastes or anything like that unless it's something particularly special. I do want to mention once again that if you can hear some background noise, my children are home, especially the five year old who has just discovered the PlayStation. So there might be some excitable squeals. Anyway, I want to talk to you about the products that I've brought and the reason why I want to talk to you about the products that I brought is because I'm kind of like I want to know exactly what I'm spending my money on um, and whether I'm going overboard or anything like that plus I'm hoping to I'm hoping to share these products with you in the hopes that maybe you can get something out of it whether it's a product that you've wanted to try before but you've been too afraid to pull the trigger because the price might be too expensive or you don't know if it'll work on your skin type etc etc there could be a lot of reasons but anyway let's get into this video and I want to talk to you like I said there's about 49 products that I've purchased so far um, most of them are like um well, they're beauty related products, but I do also want to state that some of them are in the form of samples as well. I'll let you know if they are samples um, and yeah, and like I said, and what I think about them. So let's get into it. Let's talk about the first product, which is Cassie Hair Braids. Like this is a scrunchie, right? And it was a two pack. I'd seen everywhere. Well, where was it? I think it was all over Instagram or something like that. These scrunchies made out of hair to make mum bum look much better and at that time my hair was a little bit longer and I just wanted to tie it up and it always looked terrible and I thought I'll get this it'll be really simple and you know what it was I don't hate them I've still got them I'm waiting for my hair to grow back a little bit longer so I can actually tie it up again and I will use them again but they're not as awesome as um as they say in the videos or you can see in the videos like they're not as massive and Hmm. They're still very very good. I do absolutely love mine and I definitely will wear them and I definitely recommend them. So that one was through a brand called Cassie Braids. You can get them through a whole bunch of different places. But anyway, that's what I brought. The next thing was the Ardell Demi Wispy Lashes. Now, these are the first eyelashes that I've ever worn, false eyelashes. Not because I don't like false eyelashes, just because I couldn't be bothered putting them on. You know, I never knew and I never taught myself how to put them on but I can now and I really do love these and I'm hoping to get some more in the future and um, we'll see what you know you'll be able to see my later videos or my next upcoming videos whether or not I actually get some or not it's also whether I can justify the cost of false lashes or not I just don't know yet anyway I really do enjoy them and I also brought some duo false lash adhesive to go along with that nothing wrong with that product it seems to work really well for me so Anyway, the next product that I picked up was the Sixteen's Gardens Sheet Mask Peach and Apple. And these were really, really cheap. I think these are from Mecca. I think these are okay. Like, you know, they're not going to perform a miracle on your skin or anything. But they are really, really good if you have, like, girlfriends coming over or you want to do a pamper session or, you know, you've got some teenagers or whatever. They, they're nice. They're lovely. They're not um aggressive and they're not expensive so good for like um gifts too like if you want to make up a big pack with gifts like you know i don't know body wash and face masks and tweezers i don't know anyway i think it's worthwhile giving it a go and um yeah the next thing that i had on my list that i picked up was the urban decay perversion mascara this must have been a sample and um if i liked it i would have more to say but I don't remember it, so therefore I couldn't have liked it that much. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, I know it's a very hyped up mascara, but obviously I didn't enjoy it. I can't recall why. I'm sure I've said it in a previous empties video. But I, um, yeah, I don't remember it, so I can't really give you any opinions. The next thing that I picked up was the Jeffree Star Ice Cold Highlighter. This was a wish list item. I did pick it up. I do absolutely love it, but I think that I wasted my money. Um, because I'm never going to be able to get through it and what I brought it for was primarily just the corner of my eyes to make my eyes pop a bit more and I think that was probably just a little bit silly. Anyway, I love the product, I do recommend it, but um, I just feel wasteful, so 
Anywho, the next thing that I picked up was also a Jeffree Star product, but it was a Jeffree Star slash um, Shane Dawson product, which was the uh, Root Beer Lip Scrub. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Can't say enough good things about this. The value of price, um, the scent. I just love it. And it's going to be another thing that's going to take me a very, 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 very long time to use up. So I do recommend that one. Number eight on my list of things that I purchased this year was the MAC Studio Face and Body Foundation. I'm wearing it today. I also love it. It's a thinner formula and um, I was hoping that it wouldn't age me because a lot of foundations make me look much older than I really am and not in a good way either. Um, but I really do enjoy this. I just find that this has to be applied in a particular way to make it work the way that you want it to look on you. So. Do some research if you're going to pick this up, but I do actually really enjoy this, and I do recommend it. The next thing that I have on my list now, my list says that it's psychology, but I'm pretty sure it's patchology. Um, it's going to be up here. Let me move over so you can see it a bit more. There's three masks here that I picked up, so items number 9, 10, and 11 are the patchology mood masks. Get dewy with it. Just Let It Glow and The Good Fight. I used two of these. I enjoyed them. They weren't anything really, really fancy, but they weren't expensive either. And I handed the third one down to my stepdaughter because she has a different skin type and that's what it was targeting. So um, I enjoyed these and I wouldn't pick them up again because I've already tried them and I just don't think that they're absolutely fantastic, but they might do something better for you than they did for me. Who knows? It's affordable, so it's not going to hurt you too much. Anyway, the next thing that I picked up was the Model Co. Eyebrow Pencil. This would have been a Bellabox item. It was a full-size item, and I absolutely love it. It's in my collection right now, and I do use it. It is not what I'm wearing today. This is an e.l.f. Uh, eyebrow pencil. I was in a rush, and um, this was just this was easier to use. The other one's a little bit softer, and I do enjoy it, but it just takes a little bit more faffing. Um, but, yeah, it's definitely worth it, and I enjoy it, which is kind of strange because I really don't like Model Co. makeup, but... I got lucky with this one. It's a good product for me. Moving on was the Palmer's Facial Cleansing Oil. Absolutely hated this. Absolute garbage. Um, sorry if you like this, but for me, when I got it, I was expecting it to be able to melt my makeup off. I don't even wear waterproof makeup, um, but it just didn't. It just moved my makeup around, left shit tons there. It burnt my eyes. It made my eyes blurry for a long period of time. Um, oh yeah, and even when I washed and washed and washed and washed and washed to get it off, it left this kind of residue at the end that I wasn't impressed with. So, I gave it to somebody else in the hopes that they would like it. I don't even think they did, so <laughs> I don't recommend that. The next thing that I got was the Going Coconuts Face Mask Coffee Peel. This was okay. Um, you know, it wasn't anything to write home about, but I did enjoy it. And um, yeah, if it was on sale, I'd probably pick it up again, but yeah. Hmm. I, I think I like the scent more than anything. I'm a coffee lover, so... Mm. Anyway, it was alright. The next thing I picked up was the T DKNYB Delicious Perfume in the Fresh Blossom. It's on my vanity now. Absolutely love this. Probably more so for, like, spring and summer. I don't think I'd wear this in winter. It is definitely a fresh, crisp kind of apple scent, a little bit florally. Um, not typically my sort of thing, but I did enjoy this, and I would recommend it. I got it on special. I was very happy with that. The next thing on my list was the Skin Iceland Ice Gels. This was a wish list item. Absolutely love it. Can't recommend it enough. These are fabulous. Um, they're not messy either. I enjoy these. The next thing that I had that I picked up was the Voya Hydrating Face Mask. Got it in a Bella box. Enjoyed it. Once again, didn't do miracle sort of things for my face, but I enjoyed it nonetheless. It was alright, yeah? <laughs> the next thing on my list that I've got was the Avene Micellar Water. I don't really like micellar water, so I'm not going to be, um, you know, really recommending this. Um, I guess it was okay, but I like cleansing oils. I feel like they do a better job getting makeup off than micellar water without all the tugging and I don't know. And maybe it's just me, but I didn't really care for this. Um, yeah. Next was the Ma Nars uh, Mascara. Uh, ah. This is the red one. I can't remember what it's called. I haven't gotten written down, but it'll be up here. Um, it was okay. I didn't absolutely love it more than my um, Essence Mascara, so I wouldn't spend the money on it, unfortunately, but it was okay. The next thing on my list, I also haven't got the name of this. Gosh, I haven't done my homework probably, but I love this. That's this 
bad boy right here. I'll leave the name up there as well for you to see. This stuff is amazing. I love it, but I don't want to spend the price, so I'm not going to buy this full price. I will wait until it's on special, but this stuff makes me feel so good. It really, really does, and it smells great too, so I don't know. I just love the results that I got. I can't explain it to you. I just did, so... Anywho, the next thing that I got was the Good Molecules Rose Water Daily Cleansing Gel. I love this too. Um, this is not for taking makeup off. This is more like a, well, it's a daily cleanse or like a second cleanse. Um, it was very, very gentle on my skin. The rose scent wasn't too obnoxious, which is good because I really don't like um, rose scented products. I don't know why, I just don't. But anyway, um, I thought this was lovely and I'd pick it up again, so... The next thing, uh, actually the next two things that I got were both from The Ordinary. Uh, I got the Ordinary Marine Hyaluronic uh, Serum. I think this is great. I picked this up instead of getting the Hyaluronic Acid. Um, I find this is a thinner formula and it doesn't leave that tackiness on your fingers or on your face afterwards. So I really do enjoy it and my skin loves it too. So the other Ordinary product that I got was the Natural Moisturizing Factors Plus HA Cream, which was also on my wish list. And I really do enjoy this too. This is my second favorite moisturizer and it's only my second favorite favorite because the bottle that it comes in is half the size of my regular bottle of um, moisturizer, takes a little longer to rub in, um, and it doesn't have a pump, and I like a pump, so... <laughs> anyway, let's move on. The next product that I had uh, that I picked up was the Bang & Body Firming Body Lotion. I don't like this. Um, this was on my wish list. I'm very disappointed. I hate the smell. I hate the price. I hate the fact that I go through it so quickly and um, I'll never buy it again. But then again, 50% of the population that have made reviews on this absolutely love this shit. So who knows? Maybe you will too. The next thing that is on my list is the Mecca Max Lip Boss lip gloss um i got this obviously i got this in a mecca box i didn't purchase this myself so this was a bonus uh it was okay it wasn't like blow your socks off so i actually um don't have it in my collection anymore i can't remember what i did with it anyway it doesn't matter um if i'm speeding through this it's just because i don't want you guys sitting here for like three hours right so if you need to slow me down i think you can do that in the settings somewhere anyway let's move on the next thing on my list was the Mecca Max Zoom Shadow Stick. Um, this is the reason why I haven't picked up the Caviar Stick, actually, because I really do enjoy this stick, but I don't find myself reaching for it, so I can't justify spending the money on the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick if I'm not even using this one and it's a good quality stick, so there's that. We're halfway through the list of things that I purchased this year. The next thing that I got was the Bare Minerals Statement Lux Shine Lipstick. I thought this was nice. But the colour that I was given, it was a sample, was this bold red and I just haven't found that right shade for me to feel comfortable and go, damn girl. Anyway, um, I digress. I, I enjoy it, but um, I'm just not comfortable wearing it just yet. So, The next two things that I brought this year was the Pixie Glow Tonic and the Pixie Hydrating Milky Mist. And I can't give you a review on this because unfortunately, stupidly, I used them both at the same time for the first time on my skin without doing a patch test and I had some skin irritation and some issues so um, I'm only just starting to try one of the products again on its own so I can't really tell you whether or not I like them but I have a funny feeling that I don't. So unfortunately, but hey I'll save some money if I don't have to keep purchasing it because I don't exactly like the price of the Pixie Glow Tonic so there's that. The next thing that I picked up was the Too Cool for School Egg Cream Mask, which was recommended by Teresa Is Dead, and ordinarily I love everything that that girl recommends. She can sell water to a goldfish. But unfortunately, this didn't work out for me. I felt that it was messy. I felt that the mask was poorly shaped. There was too much plastic. It just really pissed me off, to be honest with you. So um, I really didn't enjoy it. In fact, I think I even had some, like, tingling and some breakout issues. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure I did a, a review about it, but I didn't like this, so... But I tried it, and um, yeah, you're not going to love everything that you try or everything that works for somebody else, and you've got to remember that, so... Um, if you have a similar skin type to me, maybe it's not going to work out for you. The next thing that I picked up was actually a TikTok recommendation, and this is the Acure Ultra Hydrating Shampoo with Argan Oil and Pumpkin... Pumpkin what? And Pumpkin. <laughs> um... So, TikToker was going, you shouldn't use this shampoo, you shouldn't use that, you shouldn't use that, it's really bad for your hair, rah, 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 this is what you should use, right? So I'm like, okay, whatever. 
I'll listen to you because, you know, I know nothing about hair. I don't even know how to do my hair half the time. Whatever, it doesn't really matter. But my hair wasn't doing good at the time and I thought maybe it was the shampoos that I was using because some of the shampoos that she said not to use were some of the shampoos that I used. And so I picked up one of the ones that she did recommend. And when I first brought it, I'm like, hey, this is interesting because it had a weird smell, right? But not like a horrible one. But I was trying to figure out all this time what it smelled like. And it was like, hang on a minute, I think it was pink or red Starburst, right? And now it's okay, like the first time you put it on, but then after a while you start really getting sick of it and you're like, I, I'm not sure if I really like this. And, um, I don't know, my hair started getting greasy a day, a day and a half later, and my hair isn't oily, so I don't understand. So my hair doesn't love this. Maybe it was just that particular brand. Maybe I'll try something else. I don't know. But I personally don't recommend this, even though she recommended it. There you go. The next thing that I picked up was the Function of Beauty hair mask. Now this I love. I love the colour. I love the scent. I love the formula. I love the way it made me feel when I was using it. I love the way that it made me feel when the wind blew and wafted the scent. <sighs> I love this stuff. And the beauty about it is, is it's like so many things that you can actually pick yourself. You pick the scent. You pick the colour. You pick the the formulation, the hair type, you know, etc, etc. I love this. I can't, I can't talk about it enough. And um, I think I got a, a coupon as well, a voucher, which means that I got it cheaper. So I recommend this. I really do enjoy it. I'm halfway through this one and I look forward to trying something else from them. The next thing that I got was the face halo, which I kind of regret. I've been putting off getting this for a very long time um, because everybody was bragging about it. And then when I got it, I was just disappointed. Um, I could have got a better job done with a face washer, so I felt like I wasted my money there. Next product I picked up was the Plunkett's Nutri, Nutri Synergy Intensive Working Hands Hand Cream. This is alright, it's a hand cream, it soaks in pretty well, it's not obnoxious, I kind of enjoy it. I'm a little bit disappointed with hand creams, I haven't found something that I really love, but this one's okay, so... The next thing that I have is the Mario Badesco Lip Balm, I absolutely love this shit, it's good price, it's formula formula is pretty damn good as well so give it a go the next product i picked up was the mac painterly pot i absolutely love this and i definitely recommend it and um the longevity of my eyeshadow lasts a lot longer than it used to before so not disappointed and the next product that i picked up was the christopher robin hair mask i absolutely love this stuff i got it as a sample and it's amazing it made me feel expensive and <laughs> The price, full price, is expensive, so I'm not going to pick this up um, brand new at full price, but I really did enjoy it. And if you get a sample, give it a go. You might like it. The next product that I picked up was this candle. I absolutely love this. This is the lemongrass and ginger candle, and if I could bathe in this shit, I would. I would have a perfume. Actually, when we were talking about perfume, I think it was in my wish list um, video just before. If I could get this scent in a perfume, mm, yes all over it, uh, uh, moisturizers, body sprays, lip balms. This scent is freaking amazing. You can get it from Spotlight. Don't buy it uh, full price. It goes on special multiple times a year, but I absolutely love the shit out of this. And it's even better than the Glasshouse Lemongrass Candle, in my personal opinion. And um, yeah, it's definitely value for money. So love it, love it, love it. Let's move on because my battery is going flat. Next thing I got was the NARS Fort de France highlighter, which I'm wearing today. And I absolutely love the shit out of it and definitely recommend it. Next product that I got too, actually, was the Drunk Elephant TLC Frambrus Group glycolic night cream and the drunk elephant virginia marula luxury face oil these products were both okay but i didn't see amazing results so i'm not going to go out and purchase the full one these were samples and uh, they were okay but they weren't like hmm. next product was the Kaleidos lip clouds uh i brought four of these and i absolutely love them i'm wearing one today which i think is pink moon the next things that i picked up was the patchology mood patch eye gels these are okay i i enjoy patchology um gels in general um but this one wasn't my favorite but i would still purchase them if they're on special but i want to try something else from them next thing that i picked up was the mario badesco glycolic eye cream i can't tell you my opinion on this because unfortunately i haven't used it long enough but it's really good value for money and i suggest that you pick it up if you're a big family and yeah, because the tub, the tub is small, but the product goes a really, really long way. So um, if you want to share it around, maybe separate it in little jars or whatever so everybody's not sticking their fingers in it, but it's definitely good value for money. The next thing that I got was the um, pink watermelon moisturizer from 
glow recipe. I didn't like this, so I handed it down. Unfortunately, it was too thin, and um, I didn't like the scent. The next thing that I got was the Pharmacy Sweet Apple Cleansing Balm, and I love the shit out of this, and um, yeah, I absolutely love it. I can't recommend this one more. This is a... Um, uh, what is it? A limited edition product, so I suggest if you want it, you better have a look now. So, Next thing I got was the Body Shop Bubble Bath Bath Bombs, and these were shit. I wouldn't recommend them. It didn't bubble bath, like it didn't soap up, it didn't even like break down properly, and my toddler was definitely disappointed with this, so I wouldn't recommend them. I don't know if it was a bad batch or whatever, but I'm not going to waste my money trying again. And the last thing from the Body Shop that I actually do love was the Japanese Cherry Blossom perfume actually it's the cherry blossom body spray either way it doesn't really matter i absolutely love japanese cherry blossom i love the scent of it and i could just once again bathe in this scent and it's not my typical scent that i absolutely love but there's something about this that i really do enjoy anyway 49 products for the entire year not including obviously like you know household products like some body washes and toothpastes and stuff like that i don't think i did too bad because a lot of them were actually samples and things that you know, were just like added bonuses for things that I'd actually purchased. So, um, yeah, I really do hope that you got something out of this video and, um, yeah, let me know if you've tried any of these things and you have a different opinion because we're all different and I'd love to hear from you guys. But until then, I'll see you later.